Hello everyone. Today we're gonna work on Don Quixote's revenge scene. Yes, we can start our work. First, we need to prepare our stage as usual. As I did in previous lessons, I looked at the models I could use on Sketchfab and prepared them. Now I'm going to download them and place them on the stage. I want to work on a moment from Don Quixote, but of course, with my style. I actually wanted to show that Don Quixote is successful from the war with windmills. I thought that this scene would be epic, and I want him to leave the area like Punisher or some kind of cool character like that. As always, I'm going to make the scene at nighttime because it will be more powerful with the fire and effects at the end. This time, it's necessary, actually. I tried daytime HDR image, but it's really not a good idea for the story. So I'm going to use mid-journey for dark night and stormy weather for the background, but I'm going to use only area and point lights to make it look like night. But first I need to prepare fire images with mid-journey. We don't need to make fire animation in Blender because it's going to be still image. So only image will be okay for me. I won't make this part fast forward because you may find these settings useful. As always, only emission is not enough for spread the light. So I'm adding point light to increase the power of the light of fires, because I want them in light all area and the man's armor.
I want definitely a foggy weather here, because the fire will be more epic with it. As always, we gonna make it with volumetric scatter node. Don Quixote is going to wrong way. Let's turn him to exit. I'm placing him to focus point according to composition rules. If you don't know what is golden ratio, you must search about it because it's very important when you work on any kind of design. There isn't only one windmill in the book. So I need to duplicate the windmill for background, but I don't want them burn because all of the area will be crowded and we want only one focus point. So other windmills will be already destroyed and they will be in the fog. I need to work on them to make them look already destroyed. I didn't spend more time to add smoke for them because they already inside the fog, but it would be cooler. Anyway, it's looking cool like this, too. Okay, I made the settings for Eve to make it look better with shadows and lights. Now I want to add bushes and trees to the scene because it looks a little bit empty to me. I'm actually using some of trees as frame for the composition. That's a good trick to keep focus inside the design. You can do that with any object. Now we can prepare a good image for the background with Mid Journey. Probably it won't be so visible, but anyway, I want some texture for the sky. I like this one, but I need to add some emission and brightness contrast because I want to pop up only stars.
I was planning to add a plane with a mission as doors and windows to make the windmill more dangerous. Let's place them now. I think it's ready for the camera movement, and after that I can take final render. I'm happy with the result. Hope you liked it too. Drives me insane. Don't lie, don't lie, don't lie to me. Ah, ah, ah. Don't fry, don't fry, don't fry your brain. As a final touch, I'm adding indirect light, and I need to bake it before render. Thank you for watching, people. Hope you enjoyed. It would be great if you support us on Patreon because it's hard to keep it without your support. We are giving our whole 3D library for $5 on Patreon. Thank you all. Have a nice day.